Hey everyone, I'm Jake. Before I dive into this wild story, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming. So, picture this. I'm your typical 28-year-old guy living in the Windy City, grinding away at my marketing job. Family's always been a big deal for me, you know? I'm talking weekly dinners, group chats, the whole nine yards. Mom, Dad, and my little sis Megan, we were tight. Or so I thought. I'd been squirreling away cash for months, dreaming of this epic family vacay. I'm talking sun, sand, and quality time with the fam. So one Sunday dinner, I spring the idea on them. Hey guys, what do you think about a family trip this summer? I've been saving up. Mom and Dad exchange this weird look, and Megan suddenly finds her mashed potatoes super interesting. Oh honey, Mom starts. That's so thoughtful, but... We're swamped with work this summer, son, Dad jumps in. Big project coming up. Megan nods vigorously. Yeah, internship stuff for me. Super busy. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't bummed. But hey, life happens, right? So I pivot. No worries, guys. I get it. Maybe I'll do a solo trip or something. They all look relieved, and we move on to dessert. Life goes on, and I start planning a trip for one. It's not ideal, but I figure I'll make the best of it. Fast forward a couple weeks. I'm chilling at home, scrolling through Instagram, when BAM! My cousin Tyler's latest post pops up. It's a selfie on this gorgeous beach, crystal clear water in the background. But that's not what catches my eye. Nope. It's the people tagged in the photo. Mom, Dad, Megan. All grinning, decked out in beach gear, looking like they're having the time of their lives. My heart drops to my stomach. I blink, rub my eyes, but the image doesn't change. There they are, my too busy family, living it up at some fancy resort. What the hell? I mutter, zooming in on the pic. Maybe it's old? But nope, the timestamp says it was posted an hour ago. I scroll through Tyler's story, and there's more. Videos of them all laughing over dinner, snapshots of them lounging by the pool. My hands are shaking as I keep swiping. Suddenly, my apartment feels too small. I pace back and forth, my mind racing. Why would they lie? Why didn't they want me there? Am I that bad to be around? I grab my phone, thumb hovering over mom's number. Should I call? Confront them? My emotions are all over the place. Hurt, betrayal, anger. It's like someone punched me in the gut. I end up texting Tyler. Nice pics. Didn't know the fam was on vacation. His reply comes fast. Oh, shit. Jake... I'm sorry, I thought you knew. Knew what? That my family's been lying to my face? That they'd rather soak up the sun without me? Family I thought I knew. They're strangers now. And I've got some big decisions to make. I couldn't sleep that night. The image of my family, all smiles on that beach, kept flashing in my mind. By morning, I knew I had to confront them. No more lies, no more secrets. I grabbed my phone and dialed mom's number, my heart pounding. Jake, honey, how are you? Her cheerful tone made my stomach turn. Cut the crap, mom. I know you're on vacation. I saw Tyler's posts. Silence. Then, oh, Jake, we can explain. Save it. Put me on speaker. I want to talk to everyone. I heard shuffling, then dad's voice. Son, listen. No, you listen. What the hell is going on? Why'd you lie to me? More silence. Then mom, her voice, shaky. We, we've been doing this for a while, Jake. Taking trips without you. The words hit me like a truck. A while? How long? Dad cleared his throat. About five years now. Five years. My mind reeled. All those times they said they were working or visiting sick relatives. Why? I managed to choke out. It's just... Mom hesitated. When you're around, the dynamic changes. We can't relax the same way. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. What's that supposed to mean? Suddenly, Megan's voice piped up. You're just so intense, Jake. Always talking about work. Always on edge. It's exhausting. Her words stung worse than a swarm of bees. Exhausting. I'm exhausting. Well, excuse me for caring about my family and wanting to spend time with you. Jake, please understand. Dad tried to interject. We love you, but sometimes... Sometimes what? Sometimes you need a break from your own son, is that it? The silence on the other end was deafening. Who else knows about this? Just Tyler? Mom's voice was barely a whisper. 
Most of the extended family knows, Jake. They, they join us sometimes. I felt like I'd been punched in the gut. Everyone knew. Everyone but me. So I'm the family joke, huh? Poor clueless Jake, thinking he's part of the family while everyone laughs behind his back. It's not like that, Megan protested. We just, we just wanted some time without, without me. I finished for her. Say it, Megan. You wanted time without me. More silence. I could hear muffled sobs. Mom, probably. Uh, Jake, son. Dad started again. We never meant to hurt you. We love you. We just... Save it, I cut him off. You know what? Enjoy your vacation. Enjoy your perfect little family dynamic without the intense sun ruining everything. Don't bother calling when you get back. I'm done. I hung up before they could respond. My hands were shaking as I set the phone down. Years of memories flashed through my mind. Christmases, birthdays, family dinners. How many of those were fake? How many times were they wishing I wasn't there? I felt came over me, but the next thing I knew, I was on a flight to the Caribbean. Anger, hurt, and a burning desire for answers fueled every step. Before I could second-guess myself, I was standing in the lobby of their swanky resort. Sir, can I help you? The receptionist's smile was picture-perfect. Yeah, I'm looking for the Harrison family. I'm Jake. The son they forgot to invite. Her smile faltered. Oh, um, they're by the South Pool, but... I was already walking away. My heart pounded as I approached the pool area, and there they were, lounging in the sun, laughing without a care in the world. My world went red. Well, well, well. Looks like a great family vacation. Their heads snapped towards me. Mom's drink slipped from her hand, shattering on the deck. Jake? Dad stood up, shock written all over his face. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I crash the party? Ruin the dynamic with my intensity? Honey, please, Mom pleaded. Let's talk about this privately. Why? Scared the other guests might find out what kind of people you really are? Uncle Bob stepped in. Now, Jake, calm down. You're making a scene. A scene? You want a scene? How about we talk about all the other family events I've been excluded from over the years? Huh? Uncle Bob? His face paled. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? So you didn't all go to Aspen last Christmas when you told me you were working? Jake's son, please, Dad started. We can explain. Explain what? How you've been lying to me for years? How you've made me the family outcast? Uncle Bob, flustered, blurted out, It's not just vacations, Jake. Remember when you didn't get that job last year? We all knew it was because your cousin Tommy took it instead. The words hung in the air. I felt like I'd been slapped. What? Megan jumped. And that girl you dated in college? The one who suddenly broke up with you? Yeah. Your mom told her you weren't good enough for her. Mom's sob cut through the air. That's not true. I was just looking out for him. Other. You told my boss I was unreliable? I yelled at Dad. I was trying to toughen you up, he shouted back. The perfect family facade was crumbling before my eyes. Years of manipulation, lies, and deceit were laid bare for all to see. Other Walking away, I felt a mix of vindication and emptiness. I'd gotten my confrontation, but at what cost? One thing was clear. Things would never be the same again. The flight back to Chicago was the longest of my life. As soon as I landed, I changed my number and email. No more manipulation, no more lies. I was done. Throwing myself into work became my therapy. Late nights, early mornings, I poured everything into my job. My boss noticed. Jake, your work lately has been exceptional. How would you feel about heading up our new project? I jumped at the chance. Months flew by, and suddenly I was in line for a major promotion. The day my boss called me into his office, I knew my life was about to change. We're expanding to New York, Jake. And we want you to lead the team there. New York, a fresh start. I didn't hesitate. When do I start? Moving day came, and as I packed up my Chicago apartment, my phone buzzed. A text from mom. I almost deleted it, but curiosity got the better of me. Jake, please, can we talk? Things have been difficult since the resort. I scoffed. Difficult? Good. Over the next few months, through the grapevine, 
I heard snippets about my family. Dad's golf buddies had stopped inviting him out. Mom's book club suddenly had no room for new members. Megan, who'd always coasted on family connections, was struggling to land interviews. Meanwhile, I was thriving. New York embraced me, and I embraced it right back. I made real friends, people who appreciated me for who I was, not what I could do for them. A year turned into two. My career skyrocketed. I led project after successful project, earning a reputation as the go-to guy for impossible tasks. Then came the biggest opportunity yet. Jake, we're going global, and we want you to head the international division. I couldn't believe it. Me, the kid they thought was too intense, too work-focused, was now leading a global team. One night, after a particularly successful launch, my phone rang. It was Dad. Jake, son, we, we've made mistakes. Terrible mistakes. But we're family. Can't we try to work things out? We miss you. I took a deep breath. Memories of that beach resort flooding back. You know, Dad, I used to think family was everything, that I needed you all to be happy. But these past two years, they've shown me what real happiness is, what real success feels like. But Jake, no, Dad, I'm done. I'm done with the lies, the manipulation, the backhanded compliments. I've found people who appreciate me, who support me without conditions. That's my family now. We can change, Jake. We've learned. Maybe you have, but I've changed too. And the Jake you knew, the one desperate for your approval, he's gone. I wish you all the best, but my life is better without you in it. I hung up, a weight lifting off my shoulders. Outside my window, the New York skyline glittered. My phone buzzed again. My real friends, wanting to celebrate our latest success. As I headed out to meet them, I couldn't help but smile. The family that had tried to dim my light? They were now sitting in darkness. And me? I was shining brighter than ever. Life has a funny way of working out. Sometimes the very people who are supposed to lift you up are the ones holding you down. But when you break free, that's when you truly soar. The story of Jake's journey from betrayal to triumph has come to an end. Now I've got a question for you. If you were in Jake's shoes, would you ever consider forgiving your family and letting them back into your life? Or do you think some betrayals are truly unforgivable? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your experiences and opinions matter, and they might help others facing similar situations. If you enjoyed this story and want to hear more like it, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us bring more compelling content your way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.